Shackleton the great Antarctic explorer, Shackleton the great hero who saved 27 lives, Shackleton the great inspiring leader. Well, this is the illustrious part of the story of success, but there is also another side and that is the blood, the sweat and the tears that were necessary to reach the summit and become part of the Olympus of the great immortal heroes. Well, part of the success is always the small, many small shipwreckings that are necessary to reach this summit. And there is a lesson we can learn from this. Use shipwrecking as a chance. Well, here are some disappointments and defeats Shackleton had to overcome. First, when Scott returned from the south after his discoverer expedition, he tried to talk Shackleton down and make him responsible for the failure of that expedition. Well, that was a question of honor and in an age of honor. And although that was very hard, Shackleton managed to deal with that. And he even tried and managed to um, accept and to respect Scott. Second, the race to the South Pole was over when Amundsen reached the South Pole in 1912. Well, it is hard to imagine what that meant for Shackleton, who focused his whole life on that. But Shackleton managed that too. He redirected and found new meaning when he organized the Endurance Expedition. Uh, Shackleton was always in financial struggle. Financing his ambitious expedition was always a hard work and in every case seemed hopeless up to the last minute. What a willpower he showed to stand all the critics and objections to his up ambitious plans. Shackleton shows us that you can't win success easy. If you do, be lucky. But usually it's hard and time consuming work to reach the summit. You should not forget that when you are cruising your ocean. Well, it takes heart, it takes all your head, and it takes all your guts. It's the same in everyday life, and it's the same in business.